The Tiger Who Came to Tea by Judith Kerr. Once there was a little girl called Sophie and she was having tea with her mummy in the kitchen. Suddenly there was a ring at the door. Sophie's mummy said, I wonder who that can be. It can't be the milkman because he came this morning. And it can't be the boy from the grocer because this isn't the day he comes. And it can't be daddy because he's got his keys. We'd better open the door and see. Who's going to be at the door? Sophie opened the door and there was a big, furry, stripy tiger. The tiger said, Excuse me, but I'm very hungry. Do you think I could have tea with you? Sophie's mummy said, Of course, come in. That was nice. So the tiger came into the kitchen and sat down at the table. And look, the tiger's tail is already touching the biscuits. Sophie's mummy said, Would you like a sandwich? But the tiger didn't just take one sandwich. He took all the sandwiches on the plate and swallowed them in one big mouthful. And he still looked hungry. So Sophie passed him the buns. Do you think he'll just take one? But again, the tiger didn't just eat one bun. He ate all the buns on the dish. And then he ate all the biscuits and all the cake until there was nothing left to eat on the table. So Sophie's mummy said, Would you like a drink? And the tiger drank all the milk in the milk jug and all the tea in the teapot. He must have been very hungry. And then he looked around the kitchen to see what else he could find. What else is he going to eat? He ate all the supper that was cooking in the saucepans and all the food in the fridge. Look, he's got carrots and tomatoes and lettuce. And all the packets and tins in the cupboard. What a hungry tiger. And he drank all the milk and all the orange juice and all daddy's beer and all the water in the tap. Look at him drinking the water out of the tap. Then he said, thank you for my nice tea. I think I'd better go now. And he went. Sophie's mummy said, I don't know what to do. I've got nothing for daddy's supper. The tiger has eaten it all. And look at the mess he's left behind. And Sophie found she couldn't have her bath because the tiger had drunk all the water in the tap. Just then, Daddy's, Sophie's daddy came home. So Sophie and her mummy told him what had happened and how the tiger had eaten all the food and drunk all the drink. And Sophie's daddy said, I know what we'll do. I've got a very good idea. We'll put on our coats and go to a cafe. So they went out in the dark and all the street lamps were lit and all the cars had their lights on and they walked down the road to a cafe. And they had a lovely supper with sausages and chips and ice cream. Mmm, sounds delicious. In the morning, Sophie and her mummy went shopping and they bought lots more things to eat. And they also bought a very big tin of tiger food in case the tiger should come to tea again. But he never did. It says, goodbye, goodbye, goodbye. Where do you think the tiger went next? Maybe he went home. Maybe he went to somebody else's house and ate all their food. That's the end of the story.